just arrived from Zaktec in Sweden, is another whisper transmitter. This time a desktop unit. One thing that didn't immediately grab me when I was wondering about the difference between this and other whisper transmitters is that this one can switch automatically between bands. There's no returning it to the computer or a mobile phone app to change its frequency. That band switching could be handy if you want to explore the propagation characteristics of different frequencies and you have a multi-band antenna. That feature is not as promoted on the website as it probably should be. This is the circuit which you can find on the Zaktec website. Micro USB connection, USB to serial converter, the Arduino which controls the whole thing, the GPS module, reference clock, HF generator and the power amplifier using a discrete IC 74 ac 244 and then you have various relays switching the low pass filters and the relays are directly controlled by the Arduino switched in sympathy with the band switching which is automatically done. These are the instructions for setting up. Luckily I didn't have to download the configuration software because Harry provided it here. When you've got the right COM port, it will say COM open. One feature is a signal generator. I was curious about the signal generator's output power, so I put it on a power meter. I don't know how accurate it is, but it's reading 500 milliwatts. That's when it was on 40 meters. Now an interesting thing is the output power setting, dropping that down, didn't seem to affect the output on the signal generator. So I think it only affects the transmitter when it's in whisper mode. A nice feature would be to make the signal generator also subject to this adjustment. This is it on 160 meters. On 10 meters there is an output, but the level is very low, which is understandable given that the filter in this unit cuts off just above 18 megahertz. Still, for general receiver testing, it's quite usable. Down on 630 meters, 473 kilohertz. There's the same output as before. I was able to put in my settings and then save them, so then the whisper transmitter can be used standalone. However, I would have liked better assurance that what you saved actually did get saved. Something like an extra pop-up window or button that changes colour would be desirable. Otherwise, it looks like you have to close down and open the configuration again to confirm that your settings have been saved. It's too hot to go outside, so I've just got the GPS receiver taped to a window. As you can see, there are both yellow on the left and green LEDs. The instruction sheet only talks about the yellow LED and not the green LED. I presume the green one is only to indicate that power is present. Here's the first test of the Zaktec multiband whisper transmitter from home. If you look at the time and the bands, you can see that it's in order of frequency. It starts off at 7 MHz, then 2 minutes later it's transmitting, this time on 10. Then another 2 minutes, 14 MHz. If I had 18 MHz selected, which I didn't, then it would likely be transmitting in 
this block, then a two minute gap, then a two minute gap where it was not transmitting, and then back to the sequence, seven, 10, 14, etc. I've had a lot of fun with this Zactec transmitter, and it's definitely the go-to one if I want something on several bands to operate portable. Thanks to Harry, SM7 PNV for the review unit. If you want more information, you can visit zactech.com.